Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in to another video. My name is Nine Lives. I'm an artist based out in the Bay Area, California. And today I'll be painting a set of slip-on vans. Now recently a friend of mine reached out to me to help him customize a set of vans for his girlfriend for their anniversary. Now I've customized shoes before and when I did I just used markers and not even acrylic paint markers, just regular art markers like Copics. And even though I did protect them well with some finisher, I don't know exactly how long those will last. Plus, I didn't think they reached their full potential at the end. I felt like I could do a lot much better. So with these, I am going in a different direction. I'm using actual uh, leather paints, acrylic paints with paint brushes. Now, I've never actually painted on shoes before, so this will be a first for me. And seeing as this is a special gift for a special someone on a special occasion, there is no room for error, and I am very, very afraid. But look, man, there's nothing left to it but to do it, so... Let's just head on in, attack these, and see what we come out with, I right? Boom. I started sketching the design for the first shoe on some paper. These designs were going to be later transferred onto the shoe using some transfer paper. I stuffed the shoe with some towel because it's all I had at the moment. This will give the shoe a more sturdy surface to draw and paint on. After sizing up my drawing and making sure it's going to fit on the toe box, I cut the image out and taped some transfer paper onto the back. Um, transfer paper is a great tool for artists to use if you're trying to get an exact image on an object without sketching directly on that object. If you're going to do this, I highly recommend when using these to cut the paper to the same size as the image instead of using the whole sheet of transfer paper um, because any force put on these is going to leave smudges on your object when you're trying to transfer it on. Once that drawing was taped to some transfer paper, that was taped onto the shoe and then I began tracing. When tracing your image using transfer paper, you can literally use any writing utensil. When doing this, you should use something that's a different color or a dark pen something that you could tell where you have chased and you haven't that way you don't miss any spots um, for this I just use a regular old ballpoint pen to prep the shoe it's always good to tape off areas you don't want to get paint on after mixing the colors together it's finally time to start painting pray for me As far as the painting process goes, it took a minute or so to get used to the paint and how well it spreads, the coverage, the texture, but the more I did it, the more I got into my groove and found it very enjoyable. It's damn near a marker, you just have to keep dipping it back into the ink. After getting the rough coloring on the characters, it was time to move on to the sky. I mixed some turquoise with white and kept putting in more white until I got the right shade I wanted. Once that was mixed, I carefully painted around the characters, doing my best not to get paint on any of the other shoe trims. After the sky was done, I moved on to painting the clouds in the background. This was done by putting some white paint on my brush and just stippling it on until I got the right cloud look. The client also wanted a customized grape soda pin on the shoe, so I went ahead and did that as well. Let's go. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Moving on to the second shoe, the image on this one is going to be the iconic up house with all the balloons. Now you're going to see me drawing directly onto the shoe this time, rather than sketching it out on paper and transferring it on. I know I advised against this earlier in the video, but for me personally, the up house is just a bunch of lines and I'm pretty confident in my skill to not mess it up. Um, this is easier than drawing characters where their face and body and have to have the right proportions or the whole thing looks messed up. This is just lying, so it's kind of easy to fix any mistake you make. Bad boy 96 with Diddy. Take a walk, come with me. Let me show you what really go down. Fiends on the corner, every hood got a deli or crowns. Cops pull us over, it don't matter if you black or you brown. City never sleeps, this the place that where hip hop was found. Playground parks with the trees and the cars. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch. Murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. 
subway stations with the Drawing the balloons is probably my favorite part because, well, it's balloons. One of the easiest things to draw. So it's nice to just be able to relax and not think too much about messing anything up. This is New York. I look around as I'm viewing the city. Skyscrapers and bridges, bright lights, fast life, Manhattan living. Cross over downtown, welcome to the concrete. The Nets to Barclays, the Mets to Yankees. Ubers and yellow taxis. And while I'm fitted with some butters, we heard savvy when tight jeans was back. After the balloons were painted on, I went back in with a white paint pen to add highlights to the balloons, and I think this is what made the drawing actually really pop off the shoe. Brownstone buildings with the kids on the porch, murals on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps in the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue. Now, initially, the client did want the whole shoe to be light blue, but unfortunately, I ran out of paint and didn't have enough to do that. Like I said, since it was my first time painting, I only bought the smallest amount of paints. So to make up for the blank space in the back, him and I talked it over and decided to put Carl and Ellie's names on there, the same names that they put on their mailboxes. So that was actually my last step before sticking a knife in these and calling them done and finished. And that's it for the video. Um, I don't got the shoes to show you because I'm filming this outro way much more later than I finished the shoes. I finished the shoes like a week ago. Um, and I'm just getting now done editing it, as you can see. Um, it's like 8 a.m. and I'm very dead inside. But yeah, all in all, man, it was a great experience um, painting my first shoes uh, for real, for real, for the first time. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. Definitely something I need to put a lot more time in and learn more about, um, like, layers and how not to spill paint all over the place. Not once, but twice. Shit. You know, definitely something I'm gonna be doing a lot more of in the future. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in to the video, guys. I hope you guys had a fun time. If you guys are still here, props up to you. Fist bump, high five. I'm, I don't know, I'm very tired. I gotta go to sleep. But yeah, if you guys like what you see, go ahead and uh, subscribe if you liked it. Visit my Instagram for more pictures and stuff, and yeah, I'm gonna go take a nap. <sighs> Later.